Now what you got here is uh, that treadmill that was getting too hot. The board was getting hot and the motor was getting hot, but mostly the uh, the um, the uh, board. So what I'm going to do is, uh, even though you could uh, probably put a fan right on top of the board, uh, but there's really not very much space. But what I did here uh, is is uh, install a fan. Now that fan is is underneath here on that uh, bottom piece, and it's not going to hit anything. Uh, but it's underneath, and it's going to be quieter if it's underneath. Uh, but that uh, is a turbo fan. It's a computer fan, a turbo fan, and uh, you'll hear it in a little bit. Uh, it's a it's a powerful fan. And it uh, really shoots some air in there. Of course, it's got you know it's got these vents over here, but that's nothing. So what this one is going to do is this one is going to blow hard in, and uh, this other one is over there. See, I made a hole there, um, just to. Oh, well, you can make a hole with any any sort of a uh, a wood hole. Uh, uh, you know, Chuck. Uh, but uh, anyway, I made the hole. Now this fan, see, this one is blowing in hard. This one is blowing out, so it's going to keep that circulation, powerful circulation going in there. And it's also got some vents over here. Okay, so it's going to, you know, uh, you don't want to push uh, too much air in there because that those vents are, are not enough to... Uh, uh, you know, to, to, to what it'll do is keep that uh, hot air in there. So that's going to blow hard in, and this one is the other way. It's going to blow hard out. Now, these are computer fans. See that? They're computer fans. But if you take a, uh, if you take those, they're all over the place, you know. All you have to do is you got to make sure that uh, it has enough amperage output uh, to to power uh, the fans. Now you could even put two, but uh, they might run faster or slower, or they might uh, one of them might not even start. So I got two of them. Now see what I did here is I took um, a plug. I'm not going to ruin that uh, connector. I took a plug like that off of a, a damaged uh, uh, security camera that was no good anymore. So I just took that plug and I took the red and the white, the uh, red and the black, and the yellow. This particular fan here uses a yellow one also uh, actually to power it. So uh, uh, it must have, uh, the computer must uh, send it a, probably sends it a signal or even the power actually uh, because it's correct uh, directly connected to the red so it comes in uh, and I connected the yellow and the uh, uh, in this particular fan other fans maybe not but in this particular fan I connected the, uh, the two blacks together for ground and the yellow and the and the red together to power this fan because it wouldn't turn on otherwise but anyway you, you can sort of figure out what you need to do. Uh, and this is nothing more, and it's gonna plug in here, you know, like, uh, like so, I got the camera in my hand. But anyway, uh, you plug it in like so, and what you do, I'm gonna go power it on. See that? That's a powerful fan, but it's also somewhat noisy. But that son of a gun, I mean, you can, you can see how it's blowing hard, and that's not even covered yet. So when that cover gets on there, that son of a gun is really going to blow. You can see that one moving already. So you can imagine how much, uh, how much air. I'll show you, show you how powerful that is. Look at that fan over there. You know how much air that thing's blowing? <laughs> that's amazing. And the cover isn't even on yet. So that son of a gun is, is uh, you could almost make it just with that one. But when you put that cover, this one's going to blow hard in, and this one over here is going to pull hard out. 
so you have an even flow okay coming through there and I'm gonna put the other one over there and uh, it's gonna keep it really really cool I mean you could put a fan directly on the uh, motor uh, but you want to keep that uh, you want to blow all that dust that comes from the brushes and stuff out of there so uh, and this is gonna do it that might uh, help somebody out there who's having some uh, some problems with uh, overheating and also actually if you do something like this that treadmill is gonna probably last forever and that motor is gonna last forever too yeah there they are see now this one sees and blow this way and that one blowing taking in this one's coming this way so that I guess I can feel some over here too you know but uh, yeah, that's really I mean it's it's really of course it's cold here but uh, that is going to have some super circulation inside to do a super job so there it is uh, I put some new brushes in the motor and now this thing this thing when you used to put it on one it used to uh, bog down see so I put new brushes I put that new board in There she goes. But this thing was smoking, you know. Now I replaced the board. I put those fans in there so it stays cool. See, but now it's covered. And that thing is, uh, if you if you go underneath this now, I mean, I can, I can stick my hand in there. I can feel it blowing this way. So it goes in there and it circulates the air, fresh air in, and then it blows out the uh, on the other side uh, the air coming out. But now it's going to run cool, you know, with that cover. And it's fully covered. I mean, it's got no place to go. You know, it's fully covered on this side. So uh, now it's uh, circulating the air. Now one of the problems is, it, I mean, you know, geez, I mean, this, this this is a, this should be a vent, but it's not a vent, it's just, it just looks like a vent, which is ridiculous, I mean, it, it's all, all that hot air just stays in there, it's ridiculous, so, yeah, it's a good thing to put some fans in there, and keep it cool, and it'll run for a long time. Now, if we check the temperature now, look at this. It used to be 140, 150. Look at that. So that's doing great. It's unbelievable. 